Virginia's economy is stuck, and it has been for the past six years. For six straight years, Virginia's GDP rate has been below the national GDP rate. We used to always be above it, used to always lead, and now we're lagging. Five of those six years, our economic growth rate was below 1%. That is stagnation. And last year, our economic growth was six-tenths of 1%. We were 39th out of 50 states in economic growth. You could drive all the way from Maine down to Florida, and every state you drive through, with the single exception of Delaware, which has fewer people than Fairfax County, every other state you drive through is doing better than we are economically. We should be first in the nation in economic growth in Virginia, but we've got to get our policies right. If we keep doing what we've been doing, we're going to keep getting what we're getting. And it's time to change our policies, to adapt our tax code to a more nimble, agile, innovative, entrepreneurial economy. We need to have uh, regulatory relief that's smart regulation. We need to adapt our workforce and, and training in our high schools and community colleges and career and technical education and higher education as well. The fact is we've had three straight years now where more people have moved out of Virginia than into Virginia. That had never happened before since we started collecting that data in 1978. It never happened once. And then it happened three years ago, two years ago, last year, three years in a row. And last year, the majority of people who moved out of Virginia took a four-year college degree with them. We are subsidizing other states' economies. And so, no, our economy is not moving in the right direction. We need to get it moving in the right direction. I have the plans and the policies to do that, and I know how to get it done.